Hi, my name's Lee and I'm the owner and fashion director of the Luxury Couture Wardrobe. From as far back as I can remember, I've always had a passion for fashion, an interest in self-development and aspirations to become an entrepreneur. I had various side hustles to supplement my income um, by having a nine to five, including selling clothes on eBay. I longed and dreamed about making my eBay store my full-time job, but would often say, I'll do it when I'm older, I'll do it when I have more money, I'll do it when the time is right. But when is ever the right time to start a new business? Although this was what I decided, I never had a plan in place. I guess it was just a pipe dream. I first came across Bianca Miller while she was on season 10 of The Apprentice. I was immediately impressed, not just by her business acumen, but subsequently the brand she had created for herself after the show. A few years later, I spotted the self-made book in my local bookstore, and I didn't have to think twice about adding it to my book collection. However, I got complacent, distracted, and took my eye off the ball. And the book remained on my bookshelf, unread. Fast forward to 2020 and COVID-19 happened. It showed me life was way too short and made me sit back, reflect and evaluate my life. Although I was grateful to have a full-time job, I had the opportunity to work from home and I had a regular income. I started to think about my life and where I was going. I would often sit alone and have a conversation with myself, asking questions such as, am I living my full potential? What am I passionate about and where do I see myself, not just in one year, but five, 10, 15 years and beyond. I thought back about my dream of working on my eBay store on a full-time basis. And I knew from that point, this was something I had to look into. So I dusted off my self-made book and actually the receipt from the day I purchased it the 9th of November 2018 slipped out, so I knew this was definitely a sign that I had to make a change. So I signed up to a masterclass on trademarking on Saturday the 1st of August, and I remember it like it was yesterday, because I instantly felt inspired, not only by Bianca, Byron, and the trademarking experts, but I sat in awe of the mentees in the group who were living their dream. I'll be honest, when I heard how much the mentorship program cost, I left the session feeling deflated because I didn't feel comfortable parting with what I thought at the time was a lot of money. Then two weeks passed and I was still thinking about the session and I literally wrote down how much money I would easily spend if we weren't going through a pandemic. The money I would spend on raving, going out for dinner, buying a new outfit, potentially buying new shoes, <laughs> going to festivals, getting my nails done, eyelashes, my hair done, buying a cappuccino and a croissant um, before work, and let's not forget the lunch meal deal too. The figure easily amounted to over £350 per week, and prior to this I didn't even bat an eyelid. eyelid. Seeing this figure on paper just didn't make financial sense to me. And I knew if I was serious about wanting to live my dream, I would need to change my habits and my mindset. Instead of investing my money in other people's businesses, I decided I was going to invest in my own by investing in me. So four months later, here I am, part of the self-made family, AKA the winner's circle. And oh my, oh my, this has been the best decision I have made in 2020. Furthermore, forget 2020, the best decision I have made, period. As part of the fee, you are not only signing up to the expertise and guidance from Bianca and Byron, but it is having access to opportunities you wouldn't usually hear about under normal circumstances. Plus, you have access to a network who are available to answer questions in their specialist subject. But last but not least, it's being part of the self-made family. I have gained access to over 100 entrepreneurs who are motivating, encouraging, and inspiring. The list is endless. So remember I said I had a dream of setting up my eBay business? Well, by just being part of the group, I have come out of my comfort zone and realized I wanted more. Once again, I didn't want to be investing my money in other people's businesses. 
by them taking a substantial percentage from my profits that I had worked so hard to achieve. This time round, I wanted full, full ownership. So I'm pleased to say I have just finalized my website, my own platform, www.theluxurycoutureawardrobe.co.uk, where I send, sell brand new designer clothes at up to 60% off the recommended retail price. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought in such a short space of time I would come out of my comfort zone and have the confidence, the drive and the skill set to do just that. But being part of the self-made family, anything is possible. I would say being an entrepreneur is an extremely lonely place to be. There's only so much you can say to your friends and family without them getting bored. When you're also juggling a full-time job, wearing numerous hats, having sleepless nights, it's exhausting. I've been up for almost 23 hours and I'm still going. There are times when I question, have I made the right decision? Is this too big for me? Is this too big of a risk? Why am I bothering? But these negative thoughts are soon diminished when you have Byron and Bianca or the other mentees who are championing you to succeed. Every day I feel honored and blessed to be part of this community. In a recent self-made masterclass on goal setting, I recall Byron saying, if your goals do not scare you, they are not big enough. So to anybody who has resonated with anything I have said and long to pursue their dreams of setting up a business or taking their business idea to the next level and you feel concerned or scared about taking the leap of faith, you're on the right track, but now you need to put it into action. Yes, achieving your goals are great, but I would personally say growth is second to none and being part of the self-made family, you will flourish in abundance. Thank you, self-made family. Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Bianca. And thank you to Corey and to Emma and all the other people who are involved behind the scenes. Thank you.